<laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, it's Jake! Ah, oh, boy! Broski, you know who I am? I'm City Boy JJ. I can't die. I will dodge bullets. Bro, the bullet will be coming in, coming at me like this, 300 miles per hour. I just mock it. I just go the other way. Peace. That's what's important in life. Welcome back to Seeking Success Podcast, number one podcast in Toronto. Today we have City Boy GG. Y'all know the in vibes, the man. Bro, you're back for part two. You already know I'm excited to be here, man. Part one did really good. It was vibes. Part two now. It, we had a lot of like homosexual conversations in part one. Like, a lot. Yeah, can, can we make a promise right now not to take it at this episode? To, to what? To, what you say? To not take it like the homosexual way this episode? Sure. Sure. Can we all do that? Can we all keep our... I already promised to God to not do it. We can keep our cocks in our pants today? Yeah. Yeah. We'll try it. Yes. Okay. What's guess... new with you, bro, ever since then? Last time you guys interviewed me, I was known as the finest duo at York. Now you guys are interviewing me. I'm known as City Boy Gigi. I know the vibes, man. Jeez. It's been taking over, you know? Second yeah. time, you know? Now you're interviewing City Boy JJ. Bro, I'm surprised you're not wearing the City Boy JJ tee, bro. Yo, Yo that has, I thought he was going to wear that, too. You fumbled so hard. You, that would have been promoted for like fucking weeks to come. Part three. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you don't want to see part three, spam the dislike button. <laughs> <down. laughs> crazy. That's actually fucking jokes. Well, yeah, no. So wait, so you weren't, you know, you were City Boy JJ la last time, no? He still was, but he wouldn't call I himself was, that. I was, but I wouldn't call he myself. Just I was just known, bro. Every time I get approached, they're like, yo, aren't you the finest duo at York? Like, bro, it's just one of me. I'm not around. I'll be walking out by, on the hallways by myself. Like, finest duo. I'm like, broski, I'm by myself. <laughs> Wait, where is the other guy? Oh, he died? That's crazy. Nah, he didn't die. Nah. Oh, so why? He like, just went MIA, you know? He doesn't do content like that. Ah. Uh, yeah, I wish oh. him the best, though. You're not friends wonder. with him? Huh? You're not friends with him no more? Oh, no, I'm friends with him. I'm cool with everyone. I'm friends with everyone. The, the entire world. Would you, would you invite this man to have dinner at your house? Of course. Okay. I would invite any brand. I actually have some beef. And I was waiting for this, and this is actually the perfect moment. Okay. CD Boy JJ unfollowed me on Instagram. Damn. You know what it was? I was going through it. I had a little moment, and I just needed to escape, so I unfollowed everyone. I, I forgot to follow you back. You we'll followed follow you Hollywood. back after and You know what? Podcast. I remember when he, when he had only... 9,000 subscribed followers. He, he DM me, go, yo, can you comment on this video? Damn. And one day, and then one day I see, I'm on JJ's page, and I'm like, I was just curious. I'm like, yo, who's he following that I know? And my name's not there. I'm like, okay. And I typed it in. Because my shit glitches, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And my name in. <laughs> Guess what? Nothing. I'm yo, like, you know what's even crazier? I've seen recently this guy who followed me on IG. So he unfollowed yeah, me. Follow I unfollowed everyone. Mm. But I forgot to follow. The end of this podcast, I got him with a follow. Crazy, crazy. Yo, wow. I reckon you do it right that's now, my like low key. I don't have my phone on me. Oh, oh my that's God. That's good. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm sorry. And what's that bulge in your pants? It's my cock. Oh. Thought we weren't going gay today. You're right. You're right. Oh, I fumbled. I fumbled. I fumbled. I fumbled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nah, starting now, we're not. No more. Yeah, should I leave the room? Do you guys want to, like, fuck it out or something? Oh, my God. It's crazy. You guys want to just get it out on this. Don't even fucking look at me, bro. Otherwise, we're gonna have a fucking boxing match that day too, bro. What are you guys boxing? With? <laughs> no, the, the day they're doing the box, the Skyward boxing event. Yeah, what are you guys doing? I said I'll box him. I'm about it. Like, are we talking funny. about like actual like? Yeah, like, I'm gonna beat his box gonna, in the ring. You're gonna fuck him. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. How oh, y'all been, man? Y'all been good? Yeah, we've been good. Bro, how are your boys doing, man? They're doing good. Nico, Chunks, they're just crushing it. Everyone. Sharky, oh, Kenny. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. They're sick. killing it, man. You guys are doing amazing with the beta scud, bro. I love that shit. Tai shit. shit. Yo, so let's actually talk, like, let's bring it back. So, okay. you're born in Somali? No. Somalia? No. You're not born in Somalia. No. I hate We're, when people say that. Listen, okay, I don't look Somali. Look at me. I don't look like any race. I just look like City Boy JJ, the finest brown boy in the world. That's what I look like. That's debatable. You feel me? But yo, I reckon, I reckon, the, I don't know about white girls. Yeah, I reckon almost any other race, I can pull more girls than you. Huh. That's cap. I argue you have more guys looking at you than girls too. Trannies, <laughs> milfs, dilfs, everybody, gilfs, everything. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Grandma. Type shit. It's crazy. Well, you said everybody. Yeah. Yo, you actually, you actually think you could beat JJ Narizov? Hundred, bro. I've well, been, I, buddy. 
Since I've seen this guy, I've been telling him, let's do a video so you can get the most amount of numbers in an hour. Well, I had Rinsem. Buddy, I'll host it. Okay. I'll edit the video, post it. Let's do it. You're I'm not serious. Viral. I am serious. No, you're going to get the ad rev. Buddy, I've been asking it. you to do this since like fucking last year. You're not serious. All right, buddy. Let's get it cracking. We, we do it today. Today is crazy. Actually, today I would win. Look at how I'm dressed right now. Can we talk about how I'm dressed? It doesn't matter, fam. Uh, I'll, 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 do it, I'll do it in a white tee and Elegantly, jeans. Elegantly, you know what I'm saying? This Guys, who, who, who do you think dress. would win in a race off? Radis or, or JJ? <clears throat> Comment down below. Yeah, but you don't, you don't actually think you'd win. No, I, I would win. I'm Burski. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? I'm City Boy JJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> funny. You're a real character, bro. Yeah, what did you, we bro. do a part character. two? Huh? No, no. Okay, so hold on. So you, you weren't born in Somalia. No. So okay, where were you born? Where was I born? Yeah. Where was I born? Where were you born? What do you mean? I wasn't born. Like I wasn't born. I was sculpted. God Himself sculpted me out of clay and mud. That's why I'm so majestical. You feel me? I'm not, I'm not a human. Like, people don't. People be forgetting that. Mud. So is that why you're dark skin? Hmm? Nothing. Dark skin? <laughs> I'm fine no, where, skin. Were you, where were you actually born? Huh? Where were you actually born? Okay. I was born in um, Tamil Nadu, India. No, you weren't. I swear to God. No, you weren't. No, I swear. You were born in Tamil Nadu? Yes. So what, like Chennai? No, not Chennai. Oh, uh, wait. No, maybe. Maybe, actually. Actually, yeah. I think I was born in Chennai. I'm not too sure, actually. But then... Uh, but I didn't live there. I was born there, and then we, so went, how and then we went to the States, and then now I'm... So you did there. live there for a bit? No. I, probably as soon as I got popped out the womb, they took me to the States. <coughs> and then I came to Canada. Now I'm in Toronto. So how'd you escape Area 51? Huh? Broski, I just, I just mogged them. You what? I just mogged them. What was that? You don't know what mog is? I know mog coin. <laughs> What's mogged? Mog oh my god! <laughs> you know that one, yeah. It's when it's it's just mog something. It's like it's like when you like when you. What are you doing with your hand? When you look so good to the point that you just stare into someone's soul and you're just mogging them. You feel me? Can, can, can you mog Uma real quick? Nah, just, just mog him. Just mog him. <laughs> oh, why are you mogging me? This guy's mogging me. I don't think it's working, but maybe tr maybe try it on him. He's actually a homosexual. We think so. We're not gonna do that. Oh yeah. So that's can. mogging. What's that? What's the? I'm just showing my jawline. You feel me? I have a beard now. So last time I didn't have a beard, I have a beard. I don't know if you guys can, if you guys can tell, but yeah. Yo, um, I think someone commented that you wear makeup in your beard or something, or you draw your beard on. Bro, I'm brown. Why would I do that? <laughs> you seen those comments, yeah? No, I haven't. Well, I think it's on. A, maybe it's on a, one of our podcast clips. Bro, <laughs> commented himself. You commented that, didn't you? <laughs> Exposed. My yeah. I'll, I'll, well, you wouldn't know because you don't follow him. So. <laughs> That's true. I got you again. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this whole podcast, I've been doing something. I don't know if you guys have been doing it. I've been mewing this whole podcast. No way. You know, you know, I was you know say? how to mew? Yeah. Do you mew? Not actively, but sometimes. You mew? Type shit. I mew. Every, I don't even sleep. I just mew. I don't sleep. Like you know how people you're supposed to get like six to eight hours of sleep. I do six to eight hours of mewing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> huh? Why? To just this is how that's why it's the way I look. You know, I look so good because I do that. So listen, if you're watching this and you're a man and you want to develop your looks and you want to, you know, be successful in life, start mewing six to hours, six to eight hours a day. Crazy person I was watching. <laughs> well, yo, I I look sometimes. Actually, never mind. Um, wait, do you know what mewing is or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? You actually, no. Can you ex can you explain what it is and give them a tutorial? Huh? So how does someone mew? How does someone mew? That's how. Okay, but can you tell them what you just did? Huh? Can you tell them what you just did? Just gotta like draw jawline exercises, chew gum. No, but actual jawline, mewing, like the and actual. Then, and it's just like I don't think he knows what mewing. Yeah, is. I don't think you know what mewing is. What, explain what it means. So it's when you put the your tongue, your On whole the top tongue. Of the roof? Yeah. Yeah. And close your teeth and close your lips. Yeah. So yeah. why couldn't you just say that? When I, I asked you. I was getting to the point of saying. Well, no, no, you, you were saying chewing gum, me. jaw exercises. You for said, you that for you that sucking dick. So. Yo 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 yo. Fish. <laughs> Yo, you're a fish cake. What's a, a what? A fish cake. A fish cake. A fish cake. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's that? Like you're homo. Like you're. <laughs> you feel me? Like, is, that, is that a new thing? Yeah, it's my thing. Like fish you know, cake. Have you heard of it? Like yo, you're a fruit basket or like you're a fruit. Like when fruity. Gay, like, like you're fruity. You're fruity. Like you call you a fruit. Not a fruit basket or fruit. No, but you're fruity. Okay, I say you're a fish cake. 
Like if you if you're gonna move weird around me, I just say, yo, broski, chill out. You're you're being a fish cake right now. Feel me? Have you guys had crab cakes before? Yes. I did. Really yes. Good. Phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were born in India. Yes. And then you, where did you move to? You said America. I moved to the states. I went to New okay. York a little bit. And then when did you decide you wanted to come to Toronto? I didn't decide, fam. I was I, like I said, I was a year old. I couldn't oh, okay. even talk. You know what I'm saying? It was my parents' decision. So they wanted to come to Canada? Yeah. And then now here you are. And now here I am. Do you plan on staying in Canada? No, I do not. Where do you want to go to? I just want to travel the world. I don't know yet where I'm going to settle down, but I want to travel the world. I want to meet, like, you know what I'm saying? I just want to meet new people. Like, fam, there's a lot of you out there, like, you guys haven't even traveled out your houses, man. They're just inside <laughs> playing video games, all that. Like, yo, the world, like, you only live once, man. You got to go travel the world. You got to travel the world, man. Facts. You know, live life. You haven't nice. truly lived life if you didn't travel and experience new things, you know? That's what I'm sure. I'm young, you know, I'm, I'm 19 years old, teenager, you know what I'm saying? About to hit my 20s real soon. Just traveling now, it's like, I'm, I'm at that stage in my life where I just want to travel the world. Where have you traveled to so far? So far, I've traveled to, <clears throat> okay, let me see. I've been to Washington. Like, I've been to the, I've been to the States, Washington, Texas, um, New York. And then that's just the states. Those three states specifically, that's where I've been in America. And then Europe, I've only been to London. And then uh, where else have I been? Then India, of course. I've actually went there again. When, when did younger. you go? Like when I was in kindergarten, fam. Oh. Like kindergarten, grade one type shit. And then um, I don't know if I went to Sri Lanka yet, but I'm gonna like right now this summer. I'm, I'm going to Sri Lanka. I'm going to Portugal. I'm going back to London. No, I also want to go to the Maldives. Jeez. That'd be fire. Maldives would be tough. It would be tough. It's right beside Sri Lanka, so I could probably make it happen. You know what I've recently mm -hmm. found out? The Maldives, apparently, is like a part of a Muslim country. Is Maldives a country or that's a city? It's a country. Maldives. The Maldives is a country. Mm, oh. I think it's like a territory or something. It's like, it's an. I think it's considered a country. But it's an island. It was a really small yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It might be considered territory, but I guess we got... Cool, loaded on the side. Yeah. So, but what are you saying? There are what? It's it's everything. There's halal. Apparently, it's a Muslim territory or something. Really? Yeah, it is. So it is a country. It's, it's a, a country. country. Yeah. So the whole country is apparently Muslim. So it's the food's halal because obviously the Muslim. I'm Muslim. So when I travel, usually we gotta eat seafood, or vegetable options, um, or you go somewhere where they offer halal options. So like when you hear like you know like Turkey for example is also a Muslim country, and then the Maldives like you like go to a beautiful place and eat properly too. Don't worry, buddy. He's just trying to convert us I again. Love food. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Loading. No, nah, Maldives is sick. But I mean, like, what are you going to do there? Just on your just dolos? Dolos or I feel like that's where you go to, like, make friends. babies, you know? Nah. Hondos. Really? I mean, yeah, it would be a good spot for sure. For sure. But I'm not ready to have a kid yet. I'm too young. Wait, is there a city girl JJ for you? Oh. A city girl JJ? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> wife. Not, no city girls. City wife? City wife JJ. City wife JJ. City wife JJ? Yeah. Of like, course. Oh yeah, you, you're locked. Yeah, what does yeah. your girl think about all like the content you make? Um. <laughs> oh god. Um. Okay. Like. Okay. This is for all the. Con I'm speaking for all the content creators because I have friends that also go through problems with their girls. With but we're talking about you right now. I know, but let me get to it. Let me okay. get to it. I'm giving. I'm gonna get advi advice to the viewers. Okay, listen. This is. My, let me say my advice first. Sure. And then I'm gonna get into it. Listen, if you're young, don't start dating yet. Don't get what in a relationship. A slut. <laughs> you know, no, whoa, whoa, okay. I want you to focus on yourself because people are always changing. You're always changing. Like, you know, you, for example, when you were 17 versus you now, you're completely different. Am I right? Same thing. Even me, even me last year versus me now, I've matured as a person. I've grown as a person. I have different, val like, val I bring different values, morals, different views. You know what I'm saying? You just always develop, you know what yeah. I'm saying, as a human being. So that's why I feel like you should always get in a relationship like when you're already mature. Like, 20s, like, bro, there's kids nowadays dating when they're 13, 14. Like, relax. You guys are young. You guys even, in, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys need to live life. You guys need to achieve your goals, put family first. And then once you're ready to settle down, that's when you settle down. You know what I'm saying? That's what same thing with content. You know what I'm saying? My girl, she is very understanding of my content. There are things where, you know, like, I, I guess I go overboard. Like but what? Like, I don't know. In my head, I'm not going overboard, but again. What does she think is overboard that you were like, nah, it's not overboard? 
maybe like um, just anything r- uh, surrounding women, like anything related to women. Like, like what? If, like I'm, if I put myself around a bad environment, you know what I'm saying? Like what OnlyFans models and things, she's not going to be as comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I totally Damn. respect that. Fair. It's fair. This guy's convincing me to get an OF girl on the podcast. I'm like, yo, I'm that, married, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to co-host the episode with me? Absolutely not. <laughs> Me and OnlyFans will never be a thing. You know what I mean? Uh, we stayed away from that. Yeah, me too, bro. Religious reasons and, you know, just for my girl as well, too. Of course, you know, even 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 if I was single, I wouldn't do OnlyFans. I wouldn't sell my body. No, 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 no. Or, or, we said do a podcast with a girl that does OF. Still. Uh, yo, why are you doing OnlyFans? Like, no, no, no. We just want to, you know? That's what we're trying to find out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah no, I know. But yeah, but again, but again... Even if she, if she, like, okay, thing is, there are, of course, there are always restrictions when it, in, a, in a relationship, it comes with restrictions and filters, but if you truly love that person, you're willing to do that for that person, and you guys can make it worth, it, make it work, you know, it's just about maturity, you know what I'm saying, especially as a content creator too, bro, like, it, it's way easier when you're single, because you're free, sure. but sure. whereas if you're in a relationship, yeah, correct. you're free, you know, <laughs> but when you're in a relationship, though, <laughs> It's just filters and restrictions, but if you love that person, it, you'll make it work. Cause like me personally, I have no problems with it at all. Mm. No problems, no issues. For sure. You know, I'm always adapting and changing for for my girl. Fair, but yo, this, yeah. I, I 100% agree with you. Yeah. And I tell a lot of my youngins the same thing. Cause yeah. I got married really young at 22 yeah. years old, right? 22. Yeah. Wow. See? Yeah. And I tell them, I'm like, yo, it's not for everyone. But yeah, it's not. With me, it's like I have a relationship with my wife where she understands what I do for work. Yes. But also, just like the OF girls on the podcast, like, I don't push that envelope, you exactly. know? Exactly. Like, I feel like I get to success without having to go that it's route. Exactly. You know? Because there's the one thing, too, where, like, there's other side is, if someone, like, for example, as men, right? We want to have women around us, right? Yeah. So if you don't have a, a stable relationship, yeah. and you always, you know, you go in a club, you're chasing mm. after women, yeah. and then all that time you could have been working, you're just searching for pussy. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. That's why it's good to... It's it's hard. You know, you gotta find a balance that's gonna work for you the best. Exactly. But honestly, if you if I rather if would I rather be single and going getting distracted by a bunch of women, dealing with a multiple women, you know what I'm saying? Almost like what Drake's going through with all his baby mamas <laughs> at, at the age of forty, grown ass man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doing all that. I love Drake. I love I love you, fam. I love Drake, you know. Shout out Drake, but I'm just saying, you know, there's like aspects in his life that could be better. You know mm. what I'm saying? I wouldn't want that lifestyle. That's me personally. Yeah, fair. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just be locked in with one girl. She keeps me focused. I keep her focused. We both elevate each other and, you know, just achieve my goals the way I am. I'm still City Boy JJ, regardless mm. if I'm single or with a girlfriend. It's just about your girl and her maturity level and how she understands things. You know, communication's key. Make sure you guys both understand. That's how you guys move forward. 100%. Spitting well, bars, bro. Yeah. Bit too, bit too much wisdom for City Boy JJ. Yeah, right? that's what I'm saying. Like, doesn't, doesn't, suit, yeah, it doesn't suit the brand, bro. Right. That's why I was like, what the fuck are we talking about this for? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. City Boy JJ. Bro, tell that's them to go it. cheat on their girl or something, bro. We're, Yo, trying, to get, no. we're trying to get fucking views here. No. Crazy. Yeah, we're crazy. trying to fucking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. But okay. City Boy JJ exposed. Should we just drop his name now? We didn't do it last podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. We didn't. We didn't you drop guys it. dropped my name on the last podcast. Wallahi, we didn't. Oh, God, you did. Did we? Wallahi, we didn't. Oh, God, you did. We did. We said it. family didn't get clipped out. It's okay, though. Oh, Nobody so fuck, we're going to say it again. Huh? No, 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 no. This is too early in the video. If you guys want to know my <laughs> government name, make, sh- make sure you watch this to the end. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You actually ended up saying it. You said you would censor it, but you didn't actually censor it? Is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happened. I <laughs> you said he's the worst. Because you know what? We have the worst editor in the world. The most laziest editor. Oh, on this fucking planet. <laughs> Who's the editor? Him? This fucking guy. Yeah, I knew it. But you know what? Our short form editor? Fucking the most solid guy in the world. Who's that? You? Fucking me. Are you <laughs> <laughs> So, we had, to, we had to make the, the sacrifice. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we need to switch that. Uh, switch it to do. Yeah. Switch it to do. So, what are your thoughts on the whole Drake situation? We talked about him just now. Drake and Kendrick? <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Drake and K Dot. Oh my god. I texted this fucking retard. K Dot. Bro, K Dot. This guy texted me Kendrick as K Dot. I'm like, who the hell is this? Bro, K-Dot. let me know. Do y'all, do y'all call him Kendrick or K Dot? Nobody who says K Dot. Well, I never heard K Dot before. Oh god, thank you. What? You just fucking thought you're like. I swear to god in my life. Okay, the comments are gonna back me. It's K Dot. It's Kendrick. K Dot? K Dot. If I search up K Dot. K D O T? Yes. Search him up. It's not it's not gonna pop. It's not gonna be him. No, wait, no channel. Oh, it did come up. Oh, it did come up. Oh, look at me, yo. Oh, oh walk bar, it did come up. <laughs> Crazy. 
It came up. Yeah, apparently. No fucking shit, it came up. Since when did we start calling Kendrick K. No one does. No one does. Buddy, you guys just found out who fucking Kendrick Lamar was like last week. Shut the fuck up. Since time he's been K. Type shit. Cap. <laughs> you just searched it up. <laughs> I know, but I never, I never saw my day. Heard someone say K dot before. It's a Muslim thing to say. Oh, because I didn't hear it from this guy. It's not. It's not real. Mm, pretty much. Pretty much. Crazy. But yeah. So what do you? Th- <laughs> you I told this guy. I'm like, yo, if you're smart, you should make a K dot diss track. No. I'm 19, but I'm way more mature than Kendrick and Drake at their at their age. Taken. These are two 40 year old men beefing each other on the internet, rapping back and forth. If it's planned, they're marketing geniuses. If they truly don't like each other and doing this, like, bro, you guys are grown men. But what do you mean? Take care of your family. But they're making M's though, doing this. They already made. They already made it. They, they, yeah, but they're, they're, make, making, they're more making M's. M's in their other video. Thing is, music, music stays. Yeah. And music's always listened to every single day. You know, everyone, the worldwide music's like really yeah. big. The industry's huge, and two of the top. You know. Artists, Kendrick and Drake, they're yeah. they're up there. Yeah. They've already made it. They've already made M's. Drake's is Drake is probably touching B's, B's for billions. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? close. Yeah, still. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they, they don't need extra M's on beef and all that. No, they already made it. What, what is there to do? Like you're, bro, taking Drake's grand ch- great grandkids. They're set. Same with Kendrick's. You just you know this beef's not gonna do none. I'm so sorry. You guys are grown men, fam. Go take care of your family. You know what I'm saying? Why is Kendrick f- focused on Drake's daughter? Take care of yours, fam. Drake has a daughter, though. <laughs> is that is that true, though? I don't know. I see. I see the I there's a little fat girl in like the uh, wait, the wait, 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 videos. What did you, you just? I I believe it because fam, Drake <laughs> like be, Drake be hitting video. everything that moves. That's true, but I feel like he's wait, the kind of guy. Huh? How do y'all know that? It's Drake. Come on. It's, he's Drake, bro. Bro, he's. 40 years old and he's getting leaked. His nudes are getting leaked at the age of 40, fam. So. That's crazy. Wait, is he actually 40? Yeah. He's so 40. he's like 30 something, late 30s, early 30s. I don't care. He's yeah, a I'm, I'm not a Drake hater, but like, and he paints his fingernails too, so just want to put that on the table. Damn. I love Drake though. Don't get it twisted. I'm not a Drake hater or nothing. I love Drake. He's a sick guy. I think Drake's uh, sure. the most goaded guy in Toronto. Oh, God. The day we do the podcast with Drake, probably no, no, be the last no. podcast we do. Drake, Drake is the second <laughs> goaded guy in Toronto. Number one is City Boy Gigi. Wait, who, is that the guy that you copy? That's me. Oh, you're City Boy JJ. True, 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 true. true. Yeah. yeah, can you imagine this guy has like two, three sons that just look like him? <laughs> oh, you know, man. even just one, like, you know, like Austin Powers, the mini me, and the fucking <laughs> yeah, like, big yeah. boss? Crazy. Yeah, my kids look like me, it's raps. City Boy JJ will continue for the next 300 years. Yo, please, please bomb this house. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Crazy. No, but okay, so who do you think is winning, Drake or Kendrick? Bro, the, again, like I said, two grown men. I don't really care who wins. I just hope they solve the situation, solve the beef. Okay. You know, peace. That's what's important in life. Peace. A I'm piece in, of I'm what? In my Zen era, you feel what I'm saying? Word. Type shit. How do you feel about the possibility of World War Three? I've been hearing that a lot. Yeah. And I hope it doesn't get there, and I hope it never will, because again, humans are stupid. We're really, <laughs> we really are. You know, the fact that we already had two world wars, we not learned from the first one, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's crazy. Shit, we might even go to the third one now. Like, I don't even know. But yo, the third one would be crazy. It every would. country is nuclear powered? Nuclear power. Every every country has, well, not every country, but most countries. Most, most countries. Them, most countries, the top countries, they all have access to nuclear but weapons. But third world countries have yeah. access to nuclear yeah, weapons. Yeah, so one little issue, they're like, you know what? I'm done going back and forth. Let me drop this nuke. Boom, next country, let me drop this nuke. It's raps, you know? Yeah, yo, can, can you tell us what you think the sound of a nuke exploding would sound like? I don't know what it actually sounds like. But if you had to Does guess. Does it have no sound? I swear. Does it have sound? It, it definitely has sound. It definitely has sound, right? Just explosion. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That was, that was probably the best one. He got the little landing shit. Yeah, he got the, yeah. That yeah. shit. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, well, yo, freaking, yeah, we have World War Three. Yo, if yeah. you were sent into the trenches yeah. in a war, what do you think would happen? I would survive <laughs> for my loved ones. 
I would try to at least. And if I die, I would die in honor protecting my country. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, <laughs> oh, you know, I'm city boy JJ. I'll fuck it, you know? Should Broski. we try that again? Should we try, yeah, let's try that again. Yeah, try so, again. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just say you were sent into North Korea to infiltrate. What would you do? Broski, you know who I am? I'm city boy JJ. I can't die. I would dodge bullets. Like, bro, the bullet would be coming in, coming at me like this, 300 miles per hour. I just mock it and just go the other way. That's crazy that you just did that. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Got him. That's crazy that you just yeah, so did what, that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you do? Obviously, um, I send this guy to Palestine. Yeah, I was going to say, what would happen if you went to Palestine? I would just mock both the Israelites and Palestinians and then the war would be done. So how would you do that? Like, I would just stare into their souls. Okay. I would penetrate. I would penetrate. I would penetrate their souls with love. Okay. By my majesticalness, beautiness. Some of my good face. penetration. Yes. How would you um save the Ukrainians from Putin invading? Same thing. Just stare at one of the generals. And one like, of the genitals. Generals. Generals. Type shit. So Putin. Exactly. So you stare at the general to get to the genitals. Oh, W S. Bro, this guy's being a fish cake. <laughs> cake. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He has some fruit basket behavior today, bro. Yeah, fruit basket. That was like the worst one I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, wait, what's wrong, bro? Fruit Why do basket? I fucking you sit not? down and do this, bro? <laughs> King Yo. dot fruit basket. Fish, fish cakes. cakes. Yo, what's some no other busy, like no bath. busy bat? You know, <laughs> man. Yo, Loki, this podcast made no busy bat like a thing, right? I think it did, yeah. It did, it, it did, it did, it did, it did, it did, it did. Because he, he just said it, and then it just went crazy in the yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no busy bad. Yo, how much of your career do you think we basically own? <laughs> 20%. Jeez. Sick. And then you unfollow the main guy. Fuck. Oh, crazy. He's never going to let that go, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to yeah, follow yeah, I, I know, I know how you, I know how he would forgive you. How? Yeah, so Don't see y'all. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. Like, <laughs> yo, shit. Give him a wash. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Holy that fuck. That's crazy. That's f- yo. God. Okay, yo, I have a question. Okay. What's your question, bro? Okay. This guy's so, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fucked up question. Okay. Oh, my God. Let's just say okay. you're standing in between oh my God. your mom and your dad. Okay? <laughs> okay? Do you know this question? Just finish it. Do you know this question? No. Okay, so let's just say you're standing in between your mom and your dad, okay? But you guys are trapped in like a room, and there's one inch backwards you could go, or one inch forwards you could go to get out of this position, okay? The only thing is, everyone's <laughs> naked. So you either have to fuck your mom one inch in, or get fucked by your dad one inch in. Yo, bro. <coughs> bro, why, why, do, why can't I just float up, though? Why can't I just up go upwards rather than going forwards and backwards? That's not how it works. <laughs> what would you do? I'm the interviewer. You are the interviewer. Okay, what would you do? Uh, I'm also the interviewer. No, no, no. I'm no, on no. the side of the couch. I just want to hear your thoughts. Like, what would you do? I'd, like, I wouldn't do nothing. Can I just stay there? I'll just be trapped in that room forever. So just decompose there with your family naked. Well, eventually yeah. one of his family members is going to die. They're a lot older, right? So... Exactly, and then that's when I escape. Type shit. Exactly. But what would you do? I know you would go forward, fam. <laughs> what the fuck? No. That's crazy. I, I would, this, this is, this is uh, my question to ask, not answer. You know, you're a fish cake. You'd go backwards. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, apparently you're, you're banned from York now. Uh, no, 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 no. Not banned. You're not allowed on premise anymore? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't film at York. Yeah. You, you and you shape both now. What if you wanted to just take like a snap of yourself? I can probably do that, but I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? That's just dumb. Like no videos. No, no. But isn't that like how you became a fucking person on the internet? <laughs> type, type shit. But now it's like time to let that go. I've already, like I've already made York boom. You know, York popped because of me, you know, and some of my other guys too. Shout out. Shout out City Boy JJ, man. So handsome. But yes, you know, because of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he shut himself out. Crazy. You know shout out my boy Olumar Khan, man. <laughs> but yeah, I, I already made York Boom, you know, built my name off that. Not like, Now know, it's like, now I'm just, you know, branching off. It's time to branch off. You know, you can't just stay in one spot. What are you branching off to? Just doing my thing, man. You know, giving back to the community. 
I'll she's a seen that. Oh yeah, I see you guys are scamming with like a hundred dollars for a hundred meals. Oh my god, that's the biggest scam ever, Wallahi. <laughs> what do you mean? How's that scam? Buddy, we had Omar on the podcast, and he gave us the breakdown of how it is literally impossible. It's not impossible. It is impossible. So Omar is <laughs> okay. Okay, listen. So this is how we do it. No, no, he already told us. He did. He did. He did. What did he tell you? That some people are gonna get. Some nice food. Some people are gonna get a piece of shit sandwich made by Omar. Some people. <laughs> <laughs> some people. Yeah. No. You saw the shawarma I made last okay, time. No, I was no. like, she looked look all right. No. Yeah, no, that looked okay, good. Okay, this is what it was. We created the dollar thing because, listen, not everyone can afford to donate. So we're not setting a high price. So we said a dollar. And we have a big foundation of followers <laughs> and viewers. Mm. So we know we're not gonna get one person to only donate one dollar. Because realistically, what can we do with one dollar? Omar, he had this phrase called one dollar equals one meal. That's cap. And especially in this uh, economy, Toronto, one dollar equals nothing. You can't buy it. It's like one cent now. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's crazy because bread is probably like five bucks. It's crazy because really like two weeks ago, Omar was sitting there trying to convince us that it is possible and that you're his partner and now you're saying it's completely cap. It is cap. You Wait, can't. So, so what you can get, you, unless you buy ramen noodles. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay. Yeah. So you're saying it's possible, yet you guys are still... Fundraising one dollar no, per meal. No, no. Okay, let me get to that. Let me get to that. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. This is what it. Everything's falling apart right now. Yeah. Okay. Let me lock <laughs> back in. Okay. This is what it is. Sorry, uh, shit. Okay. So the plan was we call it dollar for thing. We only said that because we knew we would get a bunch of donations, and with that capital, we go and either depending on how much we make, we can either go buy products. And I'm, I'm I know how to cook food. I'm really good. I'm really good cook. So depending on how much we have, you can buy the necessary ingredients, cook really good food for the homeless. I've already done this before. And then just hand it out in proportions. Or we go to a restaurant, work up a deal, right? We're doing, we tell them that we're doing this for charity reasons, charity purposes, and they would hook us up either for free or um, discount. discount. How much have you guys raised so far? Huh? How much have you raised so So this far? is what it is. We stopped at $100. We raised $100 and we put it into the foods and we stopped. Now I'm doing this completely. I don't need any donations. I don't. I'm not. I'm doing this is either coming out of, this is coming out of my team's money. I have a team now. Who's on the team? Huh? Who's on this team? You want me to list the names? You wouldn't know. Like you would know them. Rob, you know, the Toronto side guys. Rob, um, Breezy, Ash, and then we got um, our boy um, Ahmed. You know what I'm saying? He's a real estate agent. You guys know him too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's in it too. Um, Halal Meals, we're sponsored by Halal Meals. Shout out Halal Meals, man. And um, yeah, uh, we they're just, not paying us for this. Shout out Halal Meals, man. Yo, it's like, it's a good charity, man. Yo, this guy's always, yo, this guy's trying to tax money hungry, bro. homeless people. You're crazy. Halal Meals is a charity, non profit organization. Wait, so you're a Muslim? No, I'm Catholic. Wait, why do you say that with such, like, no? Like, Be- because you I, really don't want to be Jesus Muslim. Jesus Christ is my savior. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about that? It's his savior, so good yeah. for him. Jesus Christ, man. He's okay. Wait, do you believe that Christian or what? You're Catholic or Christian? I'm Catholic, Christian, same thing, man. Okay, do you believe yeah, that that is the right religion? I do, yes. I do. Okay, you, how do you feel about I'm that? I'm gonna stand up for my religion. I don't want to cause any problems to anyone. I'm not just trying to disrespect any other religion. I love all my brothers and sisters. But, and I want to save all my brothers and sisters. I need you guys to repent to Jesus Christ if you want to, you know, oh, enter the gates, gates of heaven. You, how do you feel about that? I, like, I understand, and listen, and you, and you will. I'm not the person to say that. I'm not going to force you to do that. I'm just suggesting it because I love every single person in this planet. Hate, you know, we don't need to hate each other. No, you guys, I view everyone as my brothers and sisters. Even if I don't mm. know you, even if you're a stranger, even if you disrespect me, like, I'm human. I, I get emotional. I get mad when I get hated on or disrespected. But at the end of the day, I, all I have is love for you. And that's how everyone should be. If the world, because there's more evil than there is good in this world. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. So how do you how do you feel about that? He I, said. So I personally, obviously, I'm Muslim, right? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, I I respect it, but as as. Wait, wait, okay, okay, let me let me. Tr- okay. Okay. Let's okay. stop fucking uh, kissing each other before we talk. Yeah. Do you think his religion is right? Huh? Do you think his religion is right? Bro, oh, man, you're really trying to get controversial with this, huh? Listen. We're trying to make content I here. <laughs> love my Muslim people. Okay, buddy. I love my Muslim brothers and sisters. I do. But Okay, I have okay, for okay the let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay. Yes, listen, no, oh, no, 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 no. I, I understand. Yeah, okay. fucking oh fucking buddy, we're all good friends. Okay, whatever. Is Islam true or false? Yo, 
crazy question, It's man. a crazy question, man. Okay, okay, okay. Wanna... Are Catholics true or false? It's a still, still a crazy question if you ask them to be the other way around. <laughs> Bro, just, Bro just flipped it. <laughs> what I personally okay. think. What I personally think. Can you guys just fucking debate Here, on, on, on. Okay, okay. But I, what I would say is to piggyback, piggyback off of what you were saying earlier yeah. is there's enough evil in this world yeah. for two oh religions to fight each other. Oh my fucking God. Yeah. Hear me out, hear me yeah. out, hear me out. It makes more sense for him to be a practicing Christian and me to be a practicing Muslim and just be a good human being. Exactly. And what he does in his private time at home and what I do on my private time at home shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter at all. Listen, but y'all are so. Lame, I know. Bro. I just want to say this though. I just want to. I'm say trying to. I'm trying to make content here. I know, but listen. Okay, no. Let me get into it though. This is actually a really good topic. Actually. Can you just give me the clip I'm looking for? No, wait. Listen, I will. I just want. I just want to hear this though. I just. I just want to say this actually. Okay, you want to say it, not hear it. <laughs> Let's just hey, tell you shit, okay. Like, <laughs> oh, this is hard, man. I don't want to disrespect my Islam brothers and sisters, man. I really don't. It's not disrespectful, but that's just what you believe in. No, I know, but I don't want to. It is disrespectful. If someone said my religion is false, I would be pissed if I seen them. And I don't want that backlash on me. But, but again, everyone has different opinions. But I love, I love you guys so much. Like, but it's not my place. Like, when you die, you'll see. And you'll have the opportunity to re repent to Jesus. Damn. How do you no, feel about that? Whoa, relax. Hold on, hold on. One at a time, one at a time. This guy's okay. guy an instigator, bro. <laughs> Yeah, how do you feel I'm about that? With love and passion. This guy's trying to make it easy. Buddy, fucking, we're, come on, we're all, where's okay. your cross? It's at home. Yeah, suck my dick. Okay. Right, so how do you feel Wait, about that? Is it that? mandatory to wear the cross? No. It's not mandatory. Oh, Actually, no. no, you are supposed to wear no, it after you get not. confirmed. Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, you are. No, yeah, you are. No. Yeah, you are. Is that your confirmation yes. cross? Yeah. Really? Yes. I took mine off. Like, you're supposed to before. keep it on. No, you're not. Like, yeah, no, you, you don't need to. Maybe it depends on what church you go to. The church the church told me I should keep it on. Keep it on forever, for the rest of your life. Pretty sure that's what they said, yeah. They said to me, you can wear it for a good amount of time and hang it up. Wear it okay, either way, buddy. Wait, what, like you what? keep it on when you're making love? I usually take it off when I'm... Okay. Yeah. Okay, See, okay, like, okay. you take it off. It's actually funny that you, that you brought that. Yeah, because that's what I wonder. Like, no, I think it's weird. You know, you bounce weird. on your chest and shit. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> okay, but no, listen. Like, when you die, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, if you're a good person and you're morally good, no matter if you believe in God or not, you will have the opportunity in front of you like like i said it says in the bible if you're gonna live on earth you know without me like without believing god or, you know having god in your life then after you die you don't need to live with them up there in the mm. heavens you know what i'm saying but again generational thing is like if i was raised in a hindu family i'm gonna be you know i'm saying a hindu so it's not fair it's not fair at all you know what i'm saying even if you have been introduced it just because okay, well, okay, okay family, I, I really understand what you're trying to do here yeah two questions yeah is jesus god yes is Jesus God? To us, he's a messenger of God. Yes or no? You can answer. Jesus God, no, no. To Muslims, Jesus is no. He's one hundred percent. Okay, God. so how do you feel he's about him saying Jesus is not God? Jesus is God, man. It's the Holy Trinity. No, we don't. We don't believe in the Trinity. It is, you know, it is. Oh. That's what they think, but, but okay. Yo, are you guys like fucking pussies? Why are you guys not like okay, debating why, this shit? Okay, can I have a question? Why like, don't you think that Jesus is God? The reason why you believe Jesus is God. Because that's what it says in your Bible. Okay. The reason why we believe Jesus is not God is because that's what it says in our Quran. It says Jesus was a messenger of God, a miracle from God. Because we also believe that Mary was a virgin, mm -hmm. right? I will. I know some of you guys don't believe that. Mm -hmm. He has believed that. We, she is, yeah, she's okay. A, okay. Because I know yeah. some of the, some of the churches don't believe that. Yeah. So we believe everything up to that, to that point, right? But we just believe he was a messenger of God sent to the people of Israel, to to bring them back to God. But we don't we don't worship him as a god. Even the Holy Spirit, for example, right? We don't, we don't see the Holy Spirit as God either. We see the Holy Spirit as an angel that would communicate to Jesus. Mm. But, but up until that point, the Christianity and Islam is very similar. Yeah, it's it just, is. So, so uh, what do you think? Do you think the Bible is right and the Quran is wrong? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying In this specific... Listen, listen I'm not saying there's <laughs> right... I'm not saying there's, the Quran is wrong. I'm not saying the Bible yeah, is yeah. wrong. I think they're both right. As long as they teach us how to be morally good people. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Of course, the Bible has corruption and so does the Quran. You know what I'm saying? And it's not because of the books. Are you saying the Quran is no, corruption? No, 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 no. Us? Listen, no. I'm not, okay. I'm not saying the books itself yes are corrupted, no? but there have been, like, for example, like um, what we did, what churches did to the Aboriginal people. 
that's not wrong. That's, but yo, not, but, but that's yo, not my religion. But yo, he's he's gonna disagree with what you're saying though. Like in the sense that what you're saying. But you're like, talking for him though. He's not disagreeing with what I'm saying. Because he's just too scared to fucking say it. Okay. You're, you're, he's scared of what? The Quran has inconsistencies and isn't. Uh, no, 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 no. Quran. That's not what I'm. That's not, I didn't say that, brother. You said you said what? It got, it got changed. No, from no, no. Corrupt? No, what did you say? Corrupted? No, no, no. What I, is the word you used? You used that word. I said. There has been little corruption in our religion. Corruption has the Quran corrupted in the religion. In the Maybe religion, not, not, not in, the, in books. the books. So the books are fine. The books are fine. Well, I don't know. Again, these books are thousands of years old. You would never know, man. You would never know. So the only reason why people say, well, the reason why the Quran is not changed, okay. is because the entire Quran, at the time of the Prophet, peace yeah. and blessing be upon him, yeah. was memorized, right? And that was a practice that's been passed on through generations. 100%. So that's that's the only reason why they could, they have proof that the Quran was never changed. True. But, right? but the Bible, on the other hand, and not that I'm debating no, I know. The, that the Bible's right or wrong yeah, here, because yeah, yeah, so it's not time or place, yeah. but they have different versions from different yeah. churches and then also different like pastors. They, they, they make changes, right? That's I think true. that's why most Bibles, when it's underlined in red, is that was the actual word of Jesus yeah. versus the black yeah. is not. But again, the Bible is what came first. Yes. Muhammad actually got inspiration from the Bible. He wrote the Quran 600 years after the Bible, so you know what I'm saying. So yeah, he didn't. He didn't actually write it. It was revealed to him by God. Yeah, but yeah, I know. It, it, yes, to he, it came after the the Bible. Yes, yeah. See, the like, same way Jesus came after Moses. Mm, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Because what Christians Wait, are to, Moses too? Of course. Okay. They they're all they're all like everything for example similar. Moses what, what, came for, yeah, first. Yeah. Judaism all. came first. Yeah. And then after was was um, Jesus. And then after came Islam, right? They're all connected, at least from the Islamic belief. And also from the from the Christianity belief, obviously they believe in the Jews as well, right? But the Jews don't believe in the Christians or the Muslims. They believe everything after Moses is like... Yeah. yeah basically. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, uh, why are we debating this right now? You know what I'm saying? No, l l l like I said, I I'm not just... Listen, I, I just saw an opportunity for you guys to debate religion. It is, it's not like, sure. in my place to say what religion <clears throat> is right or wrong. 100%. I'm human. I'm imperfect. I right? thought you said you're perfect because you're city boy JJ. No, 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 no. I'm city boy JJ, but I'm not perfect. Jeez. The only perfect person is Jesus Christ. The only person that's perfect. Or that. God for me. Yeah, God for him. God, God for me as well. But Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is God. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying. <laughs> Yo, can, can we pack this guy Jesus, real quick? Fuck this God guy, God bro. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look at this atheist ass. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Bro, buddy, I literally just. Bro is the instigator. Bro is, bro is the devil in this group right now. Crazy. You know? Air dab. Air, air dab. Air dab. Air dab. Air dab. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy. <laughs> you left about right. He now. wants to be part of that the evil fam. Yeah. He wants okay. to be part of the evil okay. in the world. Crazy. Let's go to the back. I'll baptize you. Come. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Pause. That's mad. That's I, crazy. I, I, Yo, what? A Fucking fish cake, fam. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. This guy's a fruit basket. You know what I'm saying? It's That's just, crazy. Yeah, I'm just in a fish cake environment right now. So anything I say, just it just sounds like it, but I'm not really sound, making it sound like it. You feel what I'm saying? That was actually crazy. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, bro. But listen though. But yeah, listen. I, I, last message, but yeah. You know, like I said, I'm not in the place to say. I want to end it off right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to upset. You, you want to adjust your mic a little closer to you? Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to um, upset my Muslim community or my Christianity community. 100%. I'm just saying I'm imperfect. I have no place or right to say what religion is right or wrong. But judgment day will come after we die. It will come and we will see. We will see. We will learn. We don't know. We're just humans at the end of the day. 100%. And our sins will be forgiven. It's just, you know, just make sure you're a good human, man. You know, stay out of trouble. You know, help, help your brothers and sisters. You know, make this world a better place. You know, it's already a lot of evil, man. You know, people selling their souls in the industry, industry we're in right now. Content creation, bro, people are selling their souls. Like, like you know, like even like your close partners could be like have sold their souls and that's why they're big. You would never know. You know, it's crazy, it's man. Crazy. It's like, we're actually, we live in a corrupted society. You need, you guys need to wake up. You know, this, we're so closed-minded. That's why this generation is soft and overrun. Guys like Andrew Tate and all these big names, you know what I'm saying? They're trying to wake us up. You guys need to wake up, man. Seriously. Wait, who's that? Guys like City Boy JJ as well, man. He's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Especially City Boy JJ. So handsome. <sighs> Wait, yeah, what were you saying? Who's what? Andrew Tate? You don't know who Andrew Tate is? Yeah, so you said, how many languages do you speak? 
I, as of right now, I speak three. What three? English, Tamil, French. You don't speak Tamil. Oh my gosh. I speak Tamil. Okay, say something. You say something to me, I'll respond. No. Okay, then I'm not going to speak Tamil. Okay, I'll ask you something. Terium Dani. Huh? Terium Dani. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? What do you say? No, Terium Dani. He's trying to say Terium Dani. Oh, like I know? <laughs> yeah, see? see? See, that's how you know I speak Tamil because I understand it too. Okay, but oh, it's true, true. Okay, go, okay, go, go. Um, <clears throat> okay, what did you have for lunch today? Uh, now, let me But that's a lie you did. True, but you know, like I said, I just had to respond in, in, in Tamil. In Tamil, in Tamil. Okay, we're gonna have a conversation. In Tamil. Okay, go. Well, so you lied. You're not speaking in Tamil. You want me to talk in Tamil too? Yes. Okay, okay. So it's more comfortable for me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Are you, do you feel uncomfortable right now? I feel very uncomfortable. Okay, here, I'll help you with that. Because I only okay? speak in Tamil with my mom. It feels weird talking to you in Tamil. Guy just winked at me, bro. This no, fish I cake, I can't, I can't. No, I, I can't. didn't. That camera caught it. You winked at me, bro. Somebody, did somebody you see me re- No, I didn't see. Well, I didn't wink. We need a VAR. If there's some more poison, No, poison, Lila. See, I'm good. See, I'm good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you ready? Okay, go. and the Maria Dakar. Good day. Yeah, I'm fucking crazy. No, I'm just kidding. 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 Um, yeah, okay. They just call me fat. No. No. He, he called you a terrorist. I said handsome. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. You should, you, okay. I, oh, actually, I got this. What do you want to learn how to say in Tamil? What do I want to learn how to say in Tamil? And me and JJ will teach you. You will teach him, not me. Okay. I, only, I only teach Riz. Rizology 101. Okay. Yeah. I love my mom. Oh, you know how to say that. You know how to say it, too. You got this. You got it. You got it. How do you say mom? He's <laughs> asking you, though. How do you say mom in Tamil? Huh? Amma. Hey. Oh, shit. Mm, How do you say love in Tamil? I say mom, though. I don't call my mom Amma. That's weird. Why is that weird? You call your mom Amma? Yeah. I say mom. Can I... Can you give me water? That's what do you call your grandma? Huh? What do you call your grandma? Grandma. Really? No. Yeah. You're crazy. What the fuck? What? You don't call her, like, Amma or Appama? No. Like, bro, I'm Tamil, but I'm not, like... I'm, I don't want to say I'm whitewashed, but like... Pretty whitewashed, bro. Yeah. That's it. See, you call your like, grandma, grandma. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. But actually, my mind's actually blown right That's now. That's insane. What did your grandma call you? What do you bro, call even my Italian parents? boys, they call their grandma, grandpa, like, no, no, not. Yeah. yeah. But it's... Okay. No. I call my grandma, grandma. What did, your mom, grandma call, what did your mom call your grandma? Huh? What did your mom call your grandma? I think she calls her umma, I think. Okay. Yeah. Or mom. She's not calling your grandma mom. I don't think so. <laughs> so you lie. Yeah. But no, I call my mom mom. Because he doesn't visit his grandma that often. <laughs> yeah, wait, is your grandma here in like Toronto? No. We're India? UK. You, what about your grandpa? Passed away. Rest in peace. Both of them? RIP. RIP. Fuck. And what? You only have one of your grandmas in the UK? Uh, No. One of my grandmas is in the UK and one of them is in Sri Lanka. Okay. So when you talk to her, yeah. you don't call her grandma? No, I do. I swear. I love you, Grandma. I miss you. He talked to her in English. I talked to her in English. Really? Yeah. So why you talk to your mom in Tamil? Huh? Why you talk to your mom in Tamil? I don't know. It's weird, actually. I talked to my dad in English. Like, we barely... That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just my mom I only talk to in Tamil. So that's why when people even ask me, like, do you but, speak Tamil? I just say no. Because, like, you don't need to know if I speak Tamil or not. Because I'm not going to talk to you in Tamil. Jeez. Yeah. Like, first podcast, if you had asked me that, I would have said no. But I'm just more comfortable now. You know, yo, he just winked at me, but it's just, he winked at me again. You saw him wink. I, I saw you wink at him still. I, you know what it is? Yeah. You know what it is? It's just like, a, it's just like instilled in me. You know what I'm saying? I just wink. W- like, like. Wait, did you command. wink at him the first time? You know what I'm saying? No. Oh, he winked at you though? The first time? No, no one oh, winked no, at him. Wait, no, uh, he winked at me the first time. Sure, 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 sure. After you said you were going to baptize him in the back? Oh my. Yo. <laughs> it's crazy. It's actually Fish cake environment, fam. Yeah, who are your top three content creators, like favorite content creators right now? Oh, huh? the top three favorite content creators. Yeah, you know you do that a lot. Like you'll hear exactly what someone's saying. You go, huh? And then you'll, and then you'll answer. Why do you do that? I don't know. It's a habit. Are you a retard? I just want to. I just want to hear you repeat it. <laughs> you like to watch his lips move? That you should. True. No. Oh my. Top three favorite content creators. It's actually a good one, actually. Okay. Top three. Have you heard of City? 
And the boy, the JJ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? City boy JJ. It's my favorite concert creator, bro. Yo, one of my boys, he messaged me. Yeah. And he's like, say word, Ice JJ Fisher's Tamil. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I'm like, wow. It's funny. It's not funny. So do you have an actual answer or no? No, yeah. City boy JJ. That's my favorite content creator. But I think he's really handsome. Finest. He put the brown community on the map. Um, nobody does it like him. He mogs everyone. He helps out the community, giving back to the community. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if you guys seen those type of videos. He's just a good person, overall good person, man. There's nothing you can really disrespect. What's so, what's so funny? Huh? What's so funny? He's actually really funny too. I'm just, I'm just like imagining what he looks imagining like. the videos. The videos. All the mm. videos. Funny guys. Hilarious, man. I love City Boy. Jesus. Shout out City Boy JJ, man. Such a good guy. Do you get your hair permed? <sighs> no. Okay, listen. I'm South Asians. Black people aren't the only race that have curls. Can we get that? Can we get it out the way? You guys aren't the only ones that have curls. South Asians, we have curls. Have you seen the Sur- Sri Lankan surfer boys, like the surfers in Sri Lanka? They, they got man surfing Sri Lanka. I didn't. Yes, you know, you know this. Yeah, the Sri Lankan surfers, like the Maldives surfers, sur- sur- surfers, the Maldives surfers, Sri Lankan surfers. Have you seen their hair? This beautiful, long, luscious curls. Because of salt water, huh? Probably because of salt water. I don't know what it's because, but they have beautiful curls, man. <clears throat> South Asians, we have curls. Your hair is naturally that curly. My hair is naturally this curly. The way it like looks. Like no color. product? No, no product. No, there's something in your hair. No. Buddy, there's something in your hair. My hair is just naturally shiny, bro. You guys but lie, there has to be something in your hair. Why are you, why are you lying, bro? Why are you being a Zodex? <laughs> My hair That's is crazy. Na- you hear what he the- said? Wow. What? That's crazy. Being a Zodex is crazy. Don't ever talk about Zodex like that. Or else what? Or else I'll kiss you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yo, no, but listen, my it's my crazy. hair, it's just it, I came but, out the womb looking like this. Bro, you surely have something in your hair. No, no. cream, no. wax, no. conditioner. Nothing. Stay in. It's just really shiny because of the lights, maybe. Even no, it's just shiny. Like, I came out the womb like this. No product. But, you but know, bro, what? your hair's been styled kind of like this. No, that's what I'm saying. It's just naturally like that. That's a nice hair, man. Thank you, bro. Thank Do you, you believe him? Hair. I don't, bro. I no, don't he even, definitely has product. I wake yeah. up. I wake <laughs> up in the morning. Really this is how no product looks. That's how product looks. <laughs> no, yeah, literally. See, that's what I'm saying. My hair has never looked like that before. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Like, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's just never looked like. I wake up in the morning. I don't have to do my hair. It's just naturally like this. I don't know why. Even the back too. Like it's just. I yeah, wake up in the morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. wash my face, and just get out the house. No brushing your teeth. <laughs> Sick. I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, wash my he face, cleans and get the out real, the, house. the railway tracks. <laughs> Wait till these come off, bro. I'm going to have way better teeth than them. I already do, but just wait till they come off. Uh, yeah, I might get my braces wise. back on, bro. Bro, have you seen? Look at my teeth, man. It's like perfect. I can get, wait, were they all fucked up before? No, they weren't. Yeah. I had an overbite before. Oh. Yeah, so it was like... Oh, like the front teeth were behind? You mean an yeah, underbite? No, the front teeth. That's an underbite. I had an overbite, so the front teeth were like... Buddy, everyone has a fucking un- overbite. Huh? But that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to perfect my smile. I'm, Wait, smile right now? Oh, I see what you, you mean. You see it? Like, see how like, yeah, yeah, you see, like, yeah. you see me back there. Like, like, like mine's so see, overbite. Yours is overbite. Smile yeah. normally, look into the camera. Like, you can only see the top row of his teeth. I'm trying to smile where you can see both, the top and bottom. That's the perfect smile, in my That's, opinion. You're spinning facts. When I had my braces on, there was no more overbite. Yeah. It's true, it's true, true, true. Wait, what? You had braces? Yeah, I got, I got them removed a bit early. And then uh, my retainer broke. Oh. And then I moved. I have to get my braces back on still. Damn. Trying to be a city boy UK this year. Type shit. There but yo, damn. Why don't you get permanent? Oh, you had the permanent ones? I had the permanent one and the wire broke. Oh, uh, why don't you just go back and get it fixed? The wire. I was living in Calgary at the time. And then uh, my dad's like, yo, you got to fly back. And then just didn't. Because one of those ones were like, yo, my teeth look so nice after the braces were off. Yeah. And I was like, yo, it, it should be fine. It should be fine. Yeah. No, and it wasn't no. fine. Yeah. No. But it shifts so slow, you don't notice. And one day you wake up and the gap's fucking back and it shifted a bit. The yeah. bottom one was fine. It's just the top that got fucked up because the bottom one, the retainer's still in. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, all, it's better than veneers either way. So news day if we're talking about braces, right? Yeah. So we should wrap it up here. Is there anything else you want to talk about? You just winked again. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else I want to talk about? How do you guys feel about hate? 
But what? Hey. Yeah, but did you just get like converted to like, did you just become like a fucking uh, Jehovah's Witness today or something? What does that mean? Like Jehovah's Witness, like the guys that fucking <laughs> sing outside your house and shit. What? Like, did you just like come back from like a set? Like, you just, where did you just come from today? Oh, like the way I'm fit? The way I'm dressed? Yeah, the way you're dressed. Oh, I dress like this every day. I go to sleep like this. Broski, I'm city boy GG. I gotta dress elegantly wherever I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Fair. You never know. The fans might catch you lacking one day. You don't want it. You don't want that to happen. Yo, what's the craziest fan story you've had? Craziest fan story I've ever had. Oh. I've had, I have a lot of fan stories. Oh, okay. One time I went one time I got I went to a mall, right? And it was No behind, way. Huh? Yeah. No way. I know. It's you, crazy. you went to a mall? I went to a mall. What bro. the crazy. Cool. Which mall? Can't leak that, man. They're gonna be looking for me. Can you just say Eden Center? Eden Center. The world's biggest mall in Canada? No way. Wait, yeah. that's actually the biggest mall in Canada? Yeah. So nah, it's one in Edmonton. Yeah, you're a goof. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the one in Edmonton is the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, I've been there too. It's crazy. <laughs> biggest mall in Ontario? Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. Sir Square one's bigger, fam. Or like, nah, you're tripping. You're tripping. It's definitely the biggest mall in Ontario. No. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's right. Four floors? Yeah, it's they're opening up a fourth floor. So, yeah, maybe he's right. Surely the one that... No, no. no. Right. He's, okay, you're at the mall. You're at he's the mall. right. Eden Center's the biggest. But yeah, I'm at the mall, right? And this is just one of the stories. Uh, I was walking, I was shopping, I was having a good time. As I was about to leave, I see, like, I turn around, a group of kids um, recognize me, right? Kids. Kids. Ch- like, high schoolers. I don't know how they are. I'm just, they look like kids Odd. to me. Okay. And uh, they're like, yo, city boy JJ, oh, is that the TikToker? And I was with my homies, too. And they're also doing consecration. So they all recognize us. So we get out, we get out, and we just run. Because we see, my homies like, yo, they're running after us. I didn't want to take no pictures. Bro, when I tell you, there was, like, 40 of them. No joke. It was, like, a whole classroom. And then, and then I'm, I just didn't want to do too much. Like, you know, I just wanted to, that day. I, I love my fans, and I love taking pictures with people that approach me. But it's just sometimes I just want to do me. I just want to be alone, left alone. I'm human. You know what I'm saying? And uh, at that day, it was going really well. Forty people. Like it was a big ass classroom. Bro. These things are capping right now. Four, it's just a, it's just a big it's a big number it's a, it was it was a big number bro it was like you know those high school kids that just go to the malls to chill it's like that mm-hmm. like all of them at once crazy yeah and then we walk out we they start did we notice that they were yelling at us yelling calling our names but we just kept walking ignoring them we heard them <laughs> and then um, we took a left turn and my homie he took the last left turn he looked back he said they were running after us a left turn at what just the, the mall the exit okay he took a left turn you know and then, yeah, and then they started chasing us, and then we just ran to the parking lot. We hid behind cars. We hid behind a van. Crazy. We looked through the, 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 tinted winter, the tinted windows, and we just see, like, 30 <laughs> kids running, looking after us in the parking lot. And then, yeah, me and my homie, we just, and then we, you know what I'm saying? We got in our car. We had to be discreet. We got in our car and just got out of there. So that was probably Yo, crazy. Okay, movie. repeat after me, okay? Yes. She, oh, another one. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Another go ahead. crazy one. Um, a girl told me to... Like, wait, hold on, hold on. Can you say the whole thing? Like, another crazy fan story? Yeah, another crazy fan story is that a girl told me to, like, she approached me. She's like, hey, my friends love you, yada, yada, yada. Can you, like, stare into the camera? Like, and I just, like, she made me, like, like just stand by myself and recording. <laughs> and I'm just like, staring at the camera, <laughs> like, uncomfortably. You know I mean? Like, I'm used to it now. The first time that happened, I was like, what the hell? And, bro. I, I know those weren't as crazy. This is by far the craziest fan story of mine. So right now, I was walking down the hallways, right? Hallways of what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna expose that. Okay, when you were in a high hallways. school, I was in a school. I was walking down the hallways, right? I'm not gonna say what school. Elementary is, school, right? And there's this couple. Mm. There's this couple. There's this guy. He was holding his girl's flowers. He got his girl flowers, right? No, I'm sorry. Let me read, let me read, okay? So there's this couple, right? I was walking, they walking. The girl saw me, right? And she got, she had flowers. She had a bouquet of flowers. I think her man bought it for her, right? And then as soon as she saw me, her jaw drops. She sees me, her, she goes into shock. I was walking like this and both of them were walking like this. And she just stops and she just stares at me and her, her jaw drops. And I'm just looking at her and I'm just there like, what's going on? And then, cause I know she recognized me, but that's just sad. And then that's not, I'm not the story is not done yet. That's just sad though. Why should why is your jaw dropping for a next man? You have a boyfriend right beside you. It's crazy. If my girl jaws drop after she sees she sees the next man, I don't care if it's 
I don't care if it's who's someone famous, man. My Drake. Three, I don't care if it's Drake. If your jaw drops, K dot. We gone. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. You know, drop if her jaw drops, her. you drop her. Mm. Dab me again. Or dab me, or dab me. Kicks. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So and then she she said, "Oh my God, I love you." She said, "I love you" to me. Like I know it's not real. I know you don't love me like that. But the fact that she said those three words, those three words should be only to your boyfriend. Her man was just there like this. Usually, like I, I felt his pain, bro. Like I don't know why. Like, I, that's why I kept the distance. I could have been a real dickhead all up on her. No, I'm not like that. Of course, I'm never gonna be like that. But you know what I'm saying? But some some somebody here would be like that. Yeah, some celebrities are like that. It's very disrespectful. Like the Omale situation. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? I know you're, I know you're, you know what I'm talking about, right? And then she made it. She like, she like, hey, babe, can you hold this? She gave the flowers back. No. She gave the flowers. She was holding the bouquet of flowers. She gave the flowers back to her man. She's like, babe, can you hold this? Her man just held the flowers. And then she's like all up on me, taking a picture. She's grabbing me. She's touching me. I didn't give her permission to touch me. Crazy. I wouldn't have because out of the respect of her boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, yo. And then I didn't say nothing. Wait, otherwise, you would have grabbed her up? Yo, yo, yo. No, never that. Never that. Okay, but okay. you know what I'm saying? And she was just grabbing me all up. She was like, I love you so much. I watch your videos, yada, yada, yada. She takes a picture. And then she just starts talking to me. Like, she wouldn't even let me go. She was like talking to me. And I look at the side of my head. Her man is like in her corner, just holding the bouquet of flowers, just sad. And I felt so bad. Like These, these women, man. And then what? Did you make him like no, film then, you, you then, fucking her or I what? Just, I just said... Thank you, and then appreciate it, and I just dapped up the man, and then, Crazy. and then I just left, man. You think you're still together? Feels so bad, huh? I hope not. Listen, bro, if you're watching this video, you gotta leave her, man. Bro, done. What's, What's the message to the girl? Huh? What's the message to the girl? Message to the girl is <laughs> DM me. <laughs> <laughs> leave it at yo, that. Yo, yo. DM me on IG when you're message done. Message to the girl is everyone's human. Don't. Don't put anyone above anyone. We're all human at the end mm. of the day. Regardless of, my cele- like, regardless of who I am or if it's a celebrity, like, whoever it is, always keep your composure. Always put your man first. You know, he's the one taking care of you and has your responsi- responsibilities. I'm a, I'm a stranger to you. I don't know who you are, and you probably know me through content, but you don't know me personally. True. So why are you moving like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, that's yeah, all, these, all these celebrities are humans. Like, bro, if I see Drake walking down the street, most, most NPCs, like, Everyone's an NPC. Listen, if you're watching this video, you're an NPC. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Seeking so, success podcast bro, do not represent the views of uh, the Somalian. Yo, but that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, they be seeing Drake and, uh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's Drake. Oh, I'm going crazy. Like, bro, relax. <laughs> that's a clip. <laughs> like, relax, bro. Chill. What, what, what would He's they a say? human being. You're acting like Jesus came back. <laughs> I, would, I would do that for Jesus, of course. It's Jesus Christ, my savior. But Drake? Drake, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, or anyone else. I'm just saying, like, like why are you moving, Drake? Like that? Bro, ninety percent of you guys crazy. are NPCs. All, each and every single one of you. You guys need to, de- like, why are you praising another human? Why don't you want to be that human? Especially concerts too. Listen, if you go to a concert, you're a goof. Why are you paying the next man? But you're see- at Rolling Loud, huh? I was not at Rolling Loud. I'd never been to a concert in my entire life. The only time I did go to a concert was the NLE Chopper concert, and that's because I, I was invited to it. And I, was, I didn't pay for none, and I met the artist. And I was backstage. That's the reason why. But I'm not like most of you NPCs. You guys paying? You know, I heard this story, bro. Someone sold their car to go see Drake when he was in Toronto. That's crazy. Sold your car! How are you selling your car? Are you a goof? But I'm, you know what? I'm happy, though. I'm glad we have slaves, because... What? It keeps what? Us, it keeps wait, us. Wait, 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 No, no, wait, what did you just say? You're glad we have what? <laughs> I'm not repeating it, but it keeps us winning, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm True. saying? Someone, someone in Burger King has to yo, put those how burgers. Did, how, did, how did the yeah. darkest guy in the room just say, I love that we have slaves? Yo, 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 listen, someone, Crazy. again, at McDonald's, bro, you, someone has to flip your burgers. Someone has to do that job for you. There are people that actually enjoy being slaves and... God bless your soul, man. But that's not no, slaves in the matrix. Not actual like slavery. <laughs> yes. Not actual slavery, man. You know, you know what I'm saying. I just want yeah, to make a clap. Like it's crazy, man. Like, you're, it's, you know, you know what it is, bro. Your your new like um maturity. Yeah. Everything you're saying is great. It's true, and it's all stuff we believe in. But for some reason, it coming out of your mouth, it just fucking <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm listening to shit. Like I don't want to hear you say it. You know, like I want to go home and like hear like Tate say it. Like when mm. I hear you say it, I'm like, yeah. Okay. Well, now you're gonna go home and sleep thinking about me. Me seeing those Well, things. I am not. I'm glad you are. You well, I am not. She's going to call me when the podcast, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. City Boy JJ, I just jerked yeah, off from yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. What? Pink elephant. This guy's a fish cake. But look, now you have a picture of a pink elephant in your head. What is that? 
pink elephant. You're saying your cock is a pink elephant? What? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> well, what are you saying? Why is my cock get involved? Yeah. I don't know. Yo, don't why know. you stop? Can you stop thinking about my cock, bro? Yo, 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 yo! This guy's a fish cake. Okay, That's but yeah. Crazy. But yeah, listen. If you go to a concert, you're a goof. goof. Mm. Yeah, you're paying the next man. You're seeing like imagine bringing your girl to a concert. Like I've heard that too. Take in. You're bringing your girl, paying for her to see a next man sing. Why do you have that mindset? Like, so many people with oh, no oh, mindsets. Oh, okay, wait, wait. So you're dropping music soon. You have a track. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. All right. Have you you ever heard it or not? Yeah. It's like, not his friend anymore. He unfollowed me, yeah. remember? Facts. Oh. Um, I love you, man. You so, love so, so does that mean technically you'd never have a concert? Huh? No. Listen, there's a difference. If I'm the it's artist. It's so funny when he says follow, you just I'm don't say anything. And you'll start I'm not talking. disrespecting the artist. The artist is doing his thing. That's the position you should be at. Okay. So, okay. So what I'm saying is when you have... When you drop music, yes. Which if I listen, if my girl had the the best, like she's she's in, she loves this artist's music. It's her favorite artist. I would never pay for her to go. No, 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 see fam, fam, I'm asking. You're an artist, yes. Okay, I'm an artist. Yes. When you drop music, yep. would you have a concert? One hundred percent. Okay, and what happens to the guys that pull up to your concert? Huh? I would roast them on stage. I'd be like, Yo, if you're here, fam, I love you, but you're an NPC. Why are you pay, paying? Why are you here to pay me? To pay to see me? Or you can do your concerts for free. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> come on. Are you crazy? Yeah. Broski, you're paying at least two bills to come see me perform. Crazy. Wallahi. You're going to well, have to pay me two bills. Yeah, like, Wallahi, I would not fucking Broski, pull up. Broski, you know I am? Yeah. City boy JJ. It's but no, crazy. no, but I'm Yo, so that's why you didn't pull up to my performance. You're a bastard. No, but that's different though, because you're my brother. But you still didn't so fucking come. Support. I but didn't you, come you, because I probably had an errand or something. Something came up. Did I, Crazy. What, what was, was the fucking reason? Me too. Uh, there was a reason. I don't remember why I didn't come. What was the reason? What did I text you? Why? Why couldn't I make it? I don't know, bro. I, whenever I whenever I see bullshit on my phone, I just ignore it. You know? Wow. Crazy. I was, you know, I was, you know, it's crazy. I was actually gonna pull up too. Crazy. But I, something came up. That's uh, why. It's your shoulda, woulda, coulda. Eh? <laughs> no, but I'm serious though. No. That's such a fish Listen, no. Thing. I would only go to a concert if it's my friends or families or you know if I if I know them personally and I'm there to support them. But okay. You know what I'm saying? But. These art, these random artists, fam. No, I'm not paying to come see you. I just listen to you on YouTube. That's me supporting you. All these fans saying, "Oh, I go to the concert because I love him, I support him." Yeah, yeah. Just do that by listening to his music on YouTube. He's still getting paid. What do mm. you, what are you paying extra money for? To the point that you have to sell your car. What did Drake do to <laughs> your life? To the point where you had to sell your only vehicle of transportation. Yeah, that's fucked. That's you know what I'm saying? Fucking terrible. Yeah, I swear. Well, how much were tickets? A guy, some some guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How much were tickets? Huh? How much for tickets? Oh, they were selling, bro. Like, he sold like his car must have been like up close. A band, yeah, right? bro. They were selling these tickets for a band. Drake Who's was Drake baptized Drake. in the back after. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Drake, <laughs> bro, take him. I heard he was, and then, bro, yeah. this stupid comment section. I heard Drake paid for um, someone's tuition or someone's something. Someone's tuition or something. That's one person out of like 100,000 of you, man. It's not an investment to go there. It's just, it's Yo, like gambling. What would you do if you took your girl to go watch Drake and okay. she threw her bronze stage? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Amanda, 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 take in. That's crazy. Take in your, there's take in, there's like a small population. There's going to be that one guy that ends up wifing that girl that's through her bra to the next man on stage. That's crazy. Yeah, that's fucked. If I found out my girl ever did that, it's raps. Done. I'm gone. I wouldn't even put myself in a predicament where I'm dating a girl that ever did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, most that's of y'all, so most of y'all are dating some, some thoughts respectfully. Women K-thons. that don't respect themselves, especially in this gener- generation with OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Now, porn is porn is becoming normalized. Why are we normalizing porn? Why are we normalizing OnlyFans? It's it's disgusting. You're selling your body. And especially, and us men, we do complain about it, but the majority of our buyers are men too. So listen, <laughs> fix yourself up. You're the reason why these OnlyFan whores are rich. Crazy. Out here making millions of dollars a month. You know, you're just out there, uh, uh, like, come on, bro. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that motivation? Like, come on? Like... Okay. Fish cake this, back at it again. This has been a very educational conversation, <laughs> but we're going to have to close From it off From start to finish, right? Oh, yeah. Everything's just been pure fucking... Yeah. Type shit. Did we do the final four with this fucking monkey before? We did. You guys did. <laughs> um, do, do we remember the, the one we cake. did with Plush the second time we had her on? <laughs> fucking monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, fuck... It was so stupid. I don't remember the author. Like, uh, I remember one of them was like the zoo animal fucking... Yeah. Okay, if you were a zoo... <laughs> Why is he if you were a zoo animal, what yeah. zoo animal would you be? Um, a lion. 
I already have a line. Okay. Can, you know, top of the food chain. If you were a household appliance, what appliance would you be? A house full of appliances? A house. Your household appliance. Like an appliance? In the, what appliance would you be? What do you mean by appliance? A, like, like a, a like fridge, a stove, stove. Oh. microwave, <laughs> egg beater, dishwasher. Oh, that's good. That's a good question. I would probably be um, vacuum, a spoon. Does that count? It's definitely not an appliance, but sure. Oh, yeah, that's okay, a utensil. A oh, um, I'll probably be a fridge. Okay. I like Why? food. You like okay. I like food and me. Pause. And what? Food. Food and what? What is next say? question? Did you hear what he said? He said he likes food in him. Yeah. Like then he said food, pause. Like, I love food, like digesting food. And meat pause? Food is, food is good. Then he said pause after. Oh, oh, oh. Pause, mm -hmm. yeah, because that was pause. But you know what I mean. So refrigerator. Same. Food, yeah. There's nothing Sorry. weird about food. All right, guys. That pretty much wraps up the episode. Uh, Actually, wait, you, no, I, one, one more thing. Okay. Um, if you had to pick a country to live in for the rest of your life, what country would you pick? And you can't pick Somalia because you're from there. Not from there. But if I had to pick a country, that's good. Damn. I mean, I love Toronto, but the economy, that's not a country. Like no, I'm saying Canada. I love Canada. I live in Toronto. I love Canada. You can't pick Canada because you're already here. I said another country. Okay, buddy, yeah. let him finish. Let me finish, man. Thank you. No, no, you're like let narrating. Him cook, let him cook. Like, no, no, he's like thinking out like just. But the economy is bad here, so but okay. that probably okay. America. Fuck yeah. Yeah, a lot of money opportunities there, but. It's probably not the best environment to escape. Like when I'm 70 years old, I'm still living in the States. I wouldn't I would want to live in an island mm. when I'm at that age, just alone, escape the world. Like a cabin in the woods type yeah, shit. Yeah, cabin in the woods type shit. Sick. Just maybe even for like a couple of years. But I'm a lot older though. Not anytime soon. Maybe like 70, 80, around that age. Word. Yo, yeah. actually before we, before we close off, two more things. What's your top five Tamil foods? Top five Tamil foods. Number one. <laughs> Has to be vada. Vada. Really the good. one like the donut one? The donut one. Okay, so okay, orta vada, okay. Yeah. Number two, rolls. Like mutton rolls? Mutton rolls. Yeah, I, you, I figured you'd be a guy that loves Snaps. mutton rolls. Number three. Bareback. Oh my god. Can we can we switch that? Number one, butter chicken. Okay, I don't it's okay. Not necessarily it's not really Tamil, but sure. sure. Come on, still fits in. Okay, butter sure. chicken. So that's three right there. Butter but can you say it like Yeah. And no, but can you say butter chicken like how it's supposed to be said? Butter chicken. I don't know, like. That's how it's. How do you okay. say butter chicken? Butter chicken. Okay, but no, okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so butter chicken, butter. Yeah. yeah. Mutton rolls. Yeah. Um, dosa. Do okay. Yeah, it's really good. Crispy. I love the crispiness. It's really good. Okay. And then. Uh, probably Italy. Oh, Italy? Italy's good. They're so dry though. Okay, I, I dip in the sauce. Yeah, dip in the sauce. Low key though. Okay, okay. The soft ones, like the good ones. Okay, th this is low key facts. Yeah, Italy is the brown version of a Popeye's biscuit. Facts no. or false? No, no, no. False. False. What? No. You, it, the it, fact that even mm. Italy is like the brown version of uh, you know you ever had like a rice cake before? I guess <laughs> that'd be closer. <laughs> that, yeah. Definitely not. But not a biscuit. Pop a biscuit like Italy's soft. I know, I know, but have you ever had Italy like the day after? No, still I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, I get. Because even when you microwave it, it's yeah, not fucking. Doesn't just become soft. Spongy, but yeah, nah. spongy, but still not. Nah, it's nah, nah, like, a little like, bit of dryness. The biscuit has like that, like that buttery taste. Yeah, the buttery. It's, like it's I'm starchy. Talking the, I'm, talking yeah. the, I'm talking about the dryness. Nah. Nah. Have you ever just had an Italy without anything before? Yeah. yeah. It's just. It you kind of like like couscous squished together. You yeah. Know? It's not. It's not like it's not ready. Yeah. It's just. All right. It's more close to the rice. Okay. All right, guys. Fuck. All right. You guys win. You do you watch Tamil movies at all or no? I do. Okay, what are your like top three Tamil movies? Top. I don't have a top three. Okay, what's your favorite Tamil movie? I only watch Vijay movies. That's okay. the only two movies I watch. Tamil. Okay. Because he's fire. Uh, and what's your favorite Vijay movie? Probably. Um, oh, put me on the spot. Leo was really good. Oh, you watched Leo? I did. Okay. It's fire. Do you see how they're doing like the whole multiverse thing with like those movies? Are they actually? Yeah, like Surya. So, and I'm not tuned in to that. Hmm. You know, but good for them. Pretty cool, right? Who's Surya? Did you ever watch the Singham movies? Like, oh, that guy. That guy. Yeah. I've seen those actually. <laughs> but yeah, no. Vijay. I mean, sorry. Uh, Leo. 
Um, then Master was really good too. Master, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I also like um, oh. uh, how what happens? Like maybe I'll help you. Like what happens in the movie? No, I do. I remember. It's Mersel. Mersel? Oh, yeah, yeah. The twins? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are there twins in that one? Yeah. Okay. It was the twins. It was, yeah, the twins. Okay, it's double all, acting. Yeah. yeah. Sick. Yeah. Okay, and uh, you gotta get these clips. What's your favorite Tamil song? I don't have. Oh. <laughs> Rasati. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually can, can you say, because one's because gonna come out, can you say your favorite Tamil song is Siripu? My favorite Tamil song is Siripu. Okay. What does that even smile? What does that mean smile? Yeah, yeah. Type shit. Type shit. Um, and your favorite Tamil, your three top three Tamil all right, content all right, creators. Buddy, all right, buddy. We're trying to get these TikToks down. They do well. <laughs> Last on. one. Okay. Your, your, your favorite fucking Tamil content creators. Let me ask that again because I swore. Your favorite Tamil content creators. My favorite Tamil content creators. Number, th- I'll do, well, three to one. <laughs> Nobody's going to fuck it. I don't know what you say. Three, third, I would have to put Radis. Okay. And then two, I have to put um, uh, um, Umar. And then... Okay, he's he's not Tamil. We already we went over this. Still, he's Tamil to me, man. Uh, okay. Two, I would have to put... City Boy GG! Finest, finest brown boy in the world. All right, bro. All right, yeah, let's do the intro. And yo, you, by you, the way... Yo, 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 you, you close this no, one no, off. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Just so we're all clear, yeah. even if we message you and say part three, say no, okay? Part three. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much wraps up the episode... Oh. That pretty much wraps up the episode, guys. Um, if you guys are actually still watching, you Get might therapy. actually be an NCP, N- NPC. Um, yeah, if you're watching this here, NPC, go make money, man. Until next time, remember? This is called, man. I don't want to seek success anymore. Crazy. You think we... You think we